light is being shed into an alleged conspiracy that involved kidnapping, torture, and murder. CBS Force Peter Dench has more on an arrest that was made today and why authorities are still trying to find their main suspect. The facts regarding this case are like that of a bad Hollywood movie. Wealth, infidelity, range, conspiracy, and murder. Miami-Dade State Attorney Catherine Fernandez Rundle speaks out about these five men now charged in the gruesome June 2011 murder of 43-year-old Camilo Salazar, whose body was found by a dirt road in West Miami-Dade. Camilo Salazar was found beaten, burned, tortured. Among those accused, 64-year-old Manuel Marin, a former co-owner of the Presidente supermarket chain. He allegedly got boxing promoter Roberto Isaac to recruit two mixed martial arts fighters, Alexis Vila Perdomo and Ariel Gandula, to commit the crime. After Salazar was having an affair with his old girlfriend, who is now Marin's wife. Manuel Marin was aware of the affair and had previously confronted his wife and Camilo Salazar. Marin fled to Spain after the murder and has been a fugitive for seven years. Police arrested his son Thursday morning after raiding his Pine Tree Drive mansion on Miami Beach. 32-year-old Yadiel Moran is charged as an accessory after the fact for allegedly paying expenses for his fugitive father. Gandula himself is still a fugitive in Canada, but four men are in custody. It just highlights uh, to all in our community that we do not stop working these cases. Time may pass, but our effort does not, our diligence does not, and you know, the long arm of the law will get you. All those charged in the murder will be held without bond. For allegedly being an accessory after the fact, Yadiel Marin's bond was set at $2 million. If convicted, he could face up to 15 years behind bars. In Miami, Peter Dench, CBS 4 News.